Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and uh, assalamu alaikum and welcome to this VSFT PD tutorial on installation and configuration. Uh, VSFT PD stands for very secure file transfer protocol and uh, for installation you will have to open up a terminal on your Ubuntu OS and the command for installation is sudo apt get install VSFT PD. Uh, now you can see that uh, the installation has begun and uh, after it finishes installation it will show that the VSFTPT service is now s has now started and is in a running process. So in order to check whether it is running or not uh, we can check the net status by using this command. All right. Now here it shows the listing and uh, there is an FTP server listening on on a certain port of this uh, machine and this listen shows that the server is running so it means you have installed the server correctly uh, now what we have to do next is that uh, the configuration we have to modify the configuration file for that we are going to get into the etc folder and uh, we are going, going to write gedit vsftpd.config file uh, the configuration file will open now in the gedit format and uh, there are only a few changes you have to make over here. Uh, make sure this listen option is uncommented and is uh, labeled as yes. Next what you have to do is you have to make the anonymous enable as no. Well you can do either uh, make it as a yes or no but uh, I am keeping it as a no because uh, um, this is more secure. Then the local enable enables the uh, authenticated users to log on to your server so this should be enabled and the write enable should be enabled in order for them to up be up able to upload these files. Next what I am looking for in this uh, um, file configuration file is the FTPD banner. Uh, you can search for it. Here it is. Uh, first on comment this banner and this is basically the message that will be displayed whenever somebody logs on to your server so you can uh, write anything over here uh, what I'm going to write is welcome to seeks FTP service uh, have a nice day right uh, next I guess that's it in the configuration file now what you have to do is save it and then you can close it and uh, the next thing you have to do now is you have to restart your server uh, this you can do by the command service vsftpd restart we are restarting our process uh, our server because uh, the changes we made in the configuration file won't take effect until a restart so now that we have restarted the service uh, I'll log on to my server using the command FTP localhost because the server is on the same machine. So now you can see that uh, the modification has come up in the display message on the as soon as I log on and it says welcome to Seek's FTP service have a nice day. And uh, the anonymous I have disabled so if I log in as an anonymous user it should not log me on anonymous so let's see what happens yeah login incorrect so it is basically refusing me to log me on to this FTP server because the anonymous login is disabled right next we move on to the group add command which basically is used for adding authenticated users to our uh, server so I'm going to use this command group add and the group I'm going to name the group as seeks and then I'm going to make a directory in my home and I'm going to name it as bwe1 alright uh, next I'll change the modification on this chmod double seven zero slash home slash b I have to keep it in capital letters bwe1 
सॉरी सी एच मॉड डबल सेवन ज़ीरो एंड देन स्पेस देन स्लैश होम स्लैश बी डबल यू वाई राइट आफ्टर दैट आई चेंज द चे ओनरशिप सेटिंग्स ऑन दिस फोल्डर सी एच ओन रूट सिक्स एंड वट्स नेक्स्ट सी एच ओन रूट सिक्स स्लैश होम स्लैश बी बी डबल ई वन राइट नाउ आई विल एड यूजर्स टू दिस सिल्वर बाई यूजिंग द कमांड यूजर एड माइनस जी एंड माई डायरेक्ट्री विल बी सिक्स एंड माइनस डी द लोकल डायरेक्ट्री दैट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज इज होम slash b w one yeah you have to specify your username as well so I'm going to use the name Junaid dot Kader just as a tribute to our lecturer uh, right next I'm going to add another user let's say s n dot Javed Right, these two users have now been added. Now I'm going to set their passwords using the command pass wd uh, junaid dot kader, and I'm going to set up a password for that. Yes, password change successful, and the similar thing I'm going to do with s n dot javed. right now the user names have been defined and their passwords have also been defined uh now what i need to do is i'm going to change the ownership by using the command change own root and uh, here i'm going to give six slash home slash bw1 and uh, also the ch mod command will be given again ch mod slash home slash bwe1 right once we've done this the in order for the configuration changes to take effect we'll have to restart our server once again so i'll be using the command service vsftpd restart yeah so it has restarted now uh now i log on to this local host once again and it says welcome to seek ftp service have a nice day now i'll use the login name that i just defined uh junaid dot kader and then when it asks for the password i can give the password i defined uh let's see all right let's try again password Okay let's try with s n javed s n dot javed and password was uh, Yes now uh, I think I've given a uh, the wrong password for Junaid Kade that's why it's not logging me on Right next use s n javed to log in once again uh, ftp local host and um, i give the username as s n dot javed that are defined in the directory and the password which are defined there so login is successful and i'm using the binary mode for transferring files actually you can change this in the configuration file but it's better and more secure to use the binary mode for transferring of files because ascii is comparatively insecure so now what i need to do is i'm going to give you a demo about sending and receiving these ftp files so i already made a file 1.txt uh, i'll try to send this file to the server and name it as test dot txt uh, 
it was 12.txt I guess and uh, test.txt yeah you can see now that the uh, port command has been declared successful and the transfer is complete so 22 bytes of data has been sent which was in that file and at this rate uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the same file to show you that uh, the user also has access to downloading as well as uploading the files and uh, what I'm going to give well first I should get a directory listing so let's write anything here S now I get the directory listing and it shows that the file has been uploaded at as test.txt just as I did over here in the send command I named it on the server as test.txt so I'll get this uh, file from the server by using the command get and uh, I'll the low remote file which is on the server will be test.txt and locally I'm going to name it as sn1.txt well you can see here now that the transfer was once again successful and the 22 bytes of data which was sent has been received back that is it has also been downloaded and uh, that's it for my session I'll exit this session now and uh, one thing I would like to show you is that when I log in as an anonymous user uh, I won't be logged on uh, this is basically for a security purpose so that nobody else could log on to your server and access files uh, which might be confidential so you can see that the anonymous user is not being allowed to log on log on and uh, yeah I guess that's it for the tutorial I uh, hope it was helpful for you and uh, thank you and goodbye